Hi. Are we frozen or have I just not moved my arm? Oh, no, there we go. Let me just sort this internet out. Oh, there we go. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Hi, how are you? Okay, last live Facebook for today. How are we all? Are you sick of me yet? It's okay. My family are too. It's not a problem. Um, for those of you just joining, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, of course, my name is Natalie May and I will be your hostess this evening. I'm having a bit of a play with some art journaling this afternoon. Uh, a couple of things I want to talk about quickly beforehand. The sale for today is uh, exclusive until I go to bed or until we take it off. But it's Lindy's Gang products are 15% off for today only on nataliemay.com.au. And um, stamps and stencils and paper collections and dies are also 15% off until the end of the day tomorrow. No judgment postage is back. <laughs> um, and I, so no judgment postage, of course, is $12.50 for your first order and your, any orders after that that you place are going to be only one cent. So you can choose no judgment on your second or third order, but postage is not free, of course, and uh, I will be invoicing some of you for postage who haven't paid postage, but that's okay. We'll sort that problem out on Monday. Okay, um, before I talk, do my art journal page, uh, I mentioned yesterday that I have uh, online classes that I do and that are always available. So you can go back anytime and do an art journal class. So for example, the June art journal class, we made covers for our art journals. We have got, uh, you get sent out a blank canvas cover uh, for a large Dilutions art journal. And uh, you, there's a, a full video on how to go through it. You have access to do the class at all the, all the times. Um, and also just recently, we have just released a art journal, a, a canvas art journal cover for for the Small Dilutions Journal and the Dina Wakeley Journal. So they are also available online now as well. Um, the other art journal classes that you can join in, here's a bit of an example of some of them that you can still gain access to and we can post out a kit. The classes are only $26. It's a bit of a bargain really. And we give you full step-by-step -step instructions. You can pause it, you can go back and watch it. So there's this class. Here is another class that we have done for, uh, with the art journal classes. Uh, we've also done this page. This is also available as an art journal class online. Uh, we also have, dun, dun, dun. that's not the sweary one, that's a good one. This one is another one that is available to watch and to join in on and create online. And we send you out a kit with majority of the classes as well. Um, where's another one? And then this is the one that we taught this week in the current art journal class. So there's always something there for you to do. And the really cool thing is, is they're not difficult. Um, they're suitable for everyone to do. And I really love the idea of doing classes online. And the art journal classes online are a lot more comprehensive than what I am giving you now. And they are techniques that you can do across the board at any time. So you'll find those under classes over at nataliemay.com.au. Okay, let's get into today's little mini class. We are going to be, I'm going to be working with rice paper. So rice paper is this thin collage sort of paper. You can see the texture in the background there. Um, We've got lots of different ones available online. So this is a Studio Light rice paper. This is another one. I'm just gonna show you a few of them just to give you a bit of an idea of some of the ones that we have in stock. Stamperia have got some amazing ones. So we've got a whole steampunk collection. Um, 
you've got the octopus there. We have got the flying house. We have got the um, seahorse, steampunk seahorse available. Starfish. Um, Lady Vagabond, she is just so gorgeous. I love that. And, of course, we have Sir Vagabond as well. And then we also have some available from AB Studios. So we've got this um, super cute painty one here. And Art by Marlene, of course, who does these gorgeous designs. So that one. And I've got a heap more available online. And they range from a few dollars and go up to about $10 or $11. Really, really helpful and really fun to use in your journals. Um, today I'm using this one. So my Large Dilutions journal here, I have got a, uh, a double page open and I am going to use acrylic paint to paint this page. I found that hard, didn't I? God, can't we use my words today? Um, I have actually cut out, ready to go, my images from this collage paper, okay? So that is what I'm going to use. I haven't decided if I'm going to do a single page or a double page yet. I might do... I might do a double page and I've just cut out those two elements from from my page but before I start uh, I'm going to actually bit of a thing about positioning she's going to go on this side of the page because her head is looking this way I find that if I put her over here and I do a double page it's a bit of negative body language so I'm going to pop her here and then I'll pop those two there. All right, so I've got a bit of an idea about positioning. Uh, I will now use my pencil to do a bit of a line on where she's going to sit. Okay, so a bit of a guide. She looks how I look. I think I would look in um, overalls. I just want to do a little bit of a pencil guide so that I know that... Um, not to put dark paint colours under this area, okay? Does that make sense? So that I know I can, when I put her on in a moment onto my project, I can leave these, I'll have an area where it's not dark, so perfect. Okay, I'm going to pop that aside and I'm going to crack on with some paint. Um... Now, I apologise about the flicker. I might be able to turn off my screen, but my colours, my light, my colours going to be a bit gross. Let's see if that disappeared. Um, you can't see it as good, but you don't get the flicker. So we might just leave it at that. So what I want to do is I want to do something a little bit bright and a little bit fun. I'm going to just use acrylic paint. I've got a combination of dilutions. Uh, a combination of Dilutions, Paper Artsy and a little bit of Dina Wakely. And I'm going to start building up my colours in the background to, to, to make something awesome. So I'm just going to use a dry brush technique. So this Fluoro is a, is a nice base to start with and it is super fluorescent. Um, I'm now going to pop in and I'm going to put some other colours over the top after i don't want fluoro my whole page is not going to be fluorescent by any means but it's just getting down a bit of a base of a page all right let's see what else we've got i'm going to change my brush nope that one needs cleaning there we go Okay, uh, now I'm going to play with some fresco paints from Paper Artsy. I love Paper Artsy paints. I've been playing them with them for a little while now, and I love that they have got a really lovely chalky finish to them. So this colour is called Bubblegum, and I'm absolutely thrilled to be able to, able to stock Paper Artsy paints uh, because they are... Like I said, a, color, a brand that I've been using for a while. Uh, there will be some stenciling going over the top of this. 
in a moment. So although it looks quite gross and messy, there's a bit of a process happening here. Um, a little bit of tangerine. It's all about a layering, a layering process of paint. So the gesso coat that I put on underneath kind of just gives me a little bit of a, a slick sort of um, background, an area that I can work on and build on and an area that can, that can, I can stencil over the top of if I need to. So now I'm adding some aquamarine and I'm just going to go very lightly in and around that sort of area where my lady's going to go. So fluorescent colors are translucent. So I'm making sure that uh, I'm layering them over the top. I'm paper, paper artsy paints, <laughs> paper artsy paints are, there's a range of opaque, semi-opaque and, and translucent. So I'm just making sure that I'm, I'm layering up and I'm working with lots of different textures here, just for something a little different. I've got some Dilusions Periwinkle Blue. One thing I'm not doing is I'm not gonna introduce any um, metallic colors. So I'm not using any of the new shimmers, shimmery colors yet from, from Dilusions. The new colors that arrived last night, I was tempted to crack those out, but I've decided that I don't wanna do that. I just want to use flat colors for today so I can do some doodling over the top and stenciling. Um, and I'm brushing. Do you see how I'm doing this dry brush technique? It's just getting rid of any extra white bits underneath and helping blend the lines together. And the dry brush technique, whoops, that's way too much paint. The dry brush technique will enable me to um, how do you say it to, well, it's, it's not drying super quickly. So I can, you know, the colors aren't blending together. So if I put the orange next to the pink, then it's not going to be a hot mess of color. I might use some, a little bubblegum pink. So because I'm, I'm mixing paint brands here, of course I'm getting all of these really interesting layers. So what I'm gonna do at this point is get paint on my jumper. Oh, for goodness sakes. Sorry guys. You'd think I'd learn, wouldn't you? Put an apron on. All right. So what I'm gonna do here is while this is still some sort of wet, I'm going to grab that baby wipe that I just had and I'm going to stencil off some paint, which does this awesomeness here and helps those colors blend in a little. Okay, so it almost looks like we're stamping with that stencil as well. And that will dry off in just a second so I need to do the same thing over this side. Um, oh, Diane, you're watching me on TV. Well, aren't you? Aren't we all blessed that it's not my head that you can see? Just don't go back and watch this morning's because um, I'm fairly certain you don't need to see me that big that any time of the day. So you see what happens with the paint? We create this sort of stamp sort of background going on. Nice and simple, and I've got a bit of pink down here. And then I'm going to wipe it off. Okay, gives a really awesome effect. And I'm gonna put some up here where this fluorescent is as well. You'll notice also that all my brush strokes, I try and keep them all going the similar sort of way. Um, I just think it just it just looks a little bit nicer 
it feels a bit nicer on your page. Um, we all try and create something that's visually pleasing. As I said, we do talk, I do bang on about that a bit. And that's because we do want something that, that looks great. And the best way to do that is to create something visually pleasing. So having colors that work together, having colors that look nice together and having strokes that all go a similar way. It's just all part of that process. You'll also notice that I haven't washed my brush yet. Um, I'm being a little bit particular about what, what I'm putting on my brush. I'm trying not to overdo it. I'm just going to put a little squirt of this hot pink tropical sangria on and I'm just going to brush some of that lightly over some bits that I have some areas that could do with a little colour. Not there. And as per normal, I do not have a plan when creating this art journal page other than I had cut out the image that I wanted to use. Okay, that's about the extent of me planning today. Being the last, the last live Facebook of the weekend, I was just going to wing it and hope that it was all going to work out for the best. As I tend to do, so there's no guarantee at all that any of this is going to work. So because that's how I roll. Okay, and again, I'm just wiping on, wiping off. Creating something that looks really interesting. Lots and lots of layers. And if you don't love it, you wipe it off. So at this point, I'm going, oh, yeah, okay. I can kind of see where this is going. Let's lay out my girl. Getting there. Okay, I need to do a bit more covering up around this area. So what I might do is go in with a white. and just feather in some white. Well, it's not gonna be white because I'm still not gonna wet my brush, so it's gonna become a shade. And it's gonna take away that line. So I'm using the Paper Artsy Chalk White, which means it will be a, a bit of a chalky, chalky finish. And again, I'm going to do a bit of that. Sorry, I just put my paintbrush in my mouth when I did that. I am gonna blend her into my page. There's no fear of that happening. I am going to add her in. She's not gonna be just stuck on. She's gonna be blended in with a variety of stenciling and possibly some stamping as well. And you'll also notice I haven't changed my stencil. I'm keeping it super simple by using the same stencil all the way across. Now, because I've added that white over the top there, I do need to bring it in on this side as well. So again, just using my dirty brush and doing a bit of that. and using my baby wipe as a paintbrush. And nothing is on an angle. Everything is following those vertical strokes to make it visually pleasing. Okay. And we just need a bit more up in this area. There we go, and I will need something here. Okay, 
that kind of works for me. I'll bring it up to camera so you can have a bit of a look because it does look a little bit different um, from a distance. Probably turn that light on now that I've lost the white. There we go, much brighter. So we've got a nice range of colour there to play with. Okay, so now it needs a little bit of depth, right? So the depth is going to come from, let's get rid of that. The depth is going to come from a couple of different places. Um, my depth is going to come from a little bit of stamping and it's also going to come from some stenciling in the background. Um, just not wasting paint, so I'm just kind of doing that. And I'm cleaning my brush. So before I use my brush again, I grab some paper towel to make sure that it is totally dry. Because I like that, bright, that dry brush technique. All right. So she's going to go here. Where are we? About there. That works for me. So she will, I will give her a bit of a horizon line, a bit of an area there. Otherwise she's going to be floating and look ridiculous. Uh, so I will make sure that that happens. Um, but now I want to add some more depth with some doodling some stenciling in other colors and I think that's a good idea all right let's pop those away or on the floor and I'm going to use my organic circles stencil and a sponge to do this bit all right so let's bring out the sponge box I had to give myself some new blending tools because all of my blending tools were thick with paint. Absolutely destroyed all of them with paint. So time for some new blending tools. And I really, I, I've used these all the time. So I think that they work well. All right, so what are we going to put over the top? Um, needs to be something a little darker. I've got pink over the top here. So my thinking is going to be, hey Jessica, could you grab me a paint palette out of the long skinny, yeah, you know, yeah, you know what I mean. Good work, champion. I'm going to use some um, teal colours, Captain Peacock. Peacock? No, 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 the, pe oh, uh, the peel off palette. Peel off. Yeah. You don't know what I mean. Gosh, child. Quick, quick, quick. Come on, open the drawer. I have to remember it Thank you. All right, so I love myself a, love myself. I love a Montmartre tear off paint palette. These are great because you can do your paint squirt, you can mix colors and you can come back and tear off the page and let it dry or let it dry. So this is my area that I'm going to work on so what I want to do is I want to put these colors over similar colors all right so I'm going to get it all onto my sponge here and then I'm going to go on and put layer over the top here like so like I said, totally winging it. I'm assuming it's going to look great. Voila. So that will go over similar colours. So what I mean by that is I will put it here. Connecting it to similar colours that are underneath, okay? So I'm not just going to whack it on top of the pink because it just will look a little odd. So my palette, I've just taken off screen here, so you get the gist of it though. Oops. So 
so that's going to go like that. Now I haven't stuck her on, but I've just got her into position, so I'll get her out of the way. I'll take her back there. A little bit down here. So the reason why I don't want to put too much emphasis on colour underneath the rice paper, of course, is because I don't want the colours to be showing through the rice paper. Rice paper is a thin paper, so it is it can be a little on the transparent side. Okay, so that's why I didn't want too much showing there. Yeah, hey, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. And I'm going to use, I'll just pop a bit down here. Right. Now I'm going to use a different sponge. And a, a pinky colour. What did I take that sponge off for? over the top of these ones here so that those colours start to blend in together. So I'm going to crack out that bubblegum pink that we used earlier. So are we all enjoying our Saturday afternoon? Anyone doing anything super exciting? Anything happening I need to know about out there? Been in a bit of a bubble here in Adelaide in the last 24 hours, just... Oh, those colours are very similar. Um, creating and packing all of your orders and doing all the things. So, um, as you can see, I've just got three pinks here together and I'm just going to grab those just to make up the colour that I want. And I'm going to use my lumps as my stencil over the top of similar colours going into other colours. <laughs> you spent all weekend with me, have you, Faye? Why, thank you, sweetheart. Love that for you. Now, because this is a stencil that is a little bit more flexible, I am not rubbing the heck out of it. I'm just giving it some wobbly bits. Yeah, look. Uh, Catherine's just saying that she's is got a ra you've got a rainy day in Melbourne. Well, I think Melbourne might have copped to the weather that we had last night here in Adelaide. Last night was horrendous. It was really bad. Um, a quarter of Adelaide woke up this morning with no power. We completely, yeah, we had a full on night here um, with lots of lots of trees down, lots of power lines down, lots of rain damage. So. There we go. So yeah, it was a bit, um, I think, yeah, you guys might have got the tail end of that. Um, hey, Sonia. Yeah, I'm just having a bit of a play here, doll. Just kind of getting it on, getting my colors onto a page to do a little bit of journaling with rice paper, for those of you who have just joined in. So yeah, there we go. All right, so we've got a bit of a, a, a building layer happening here and there's a lot going on color-wise. So if I put my lady on now, I'm concerned that she's going to get a little bit lost. So the way that I make that work for me is I am going to add some white and add some stamping. So I've got some white... I'm going to use the other side of my paint palette here, turn that around. And the really cool thing is, is I'm not using a whole lot of paint. So having done all of that, it's pretty much dry. 
it's it's fantastic um okay so i've got some white paint on here and now i'm going to do some stenciling and some dry brushing in white to help settle some of this down so i'm going to take that off and put it in my actually i'll put it in the water after and i've got a is that clean or dirty clean so with my sponge i get the paint on and then i kind of just saturate it through so that it is a a wash of white on there rather than a heap of white the whole idea is we want something light we don't want something too bold and complicated we want it to tone down so i want to be able to just do a little bit of this with my finger pop a few patterns on here and there The colours, all that work in the background, we're not taking that away at all, but we are toning it back a little. So I can put my baby wipe on and do the wipe on, wipe off situation to create something a little bit different, but we are toning it back and helping our, our girl merge into the page a bit. rather than stand out. So white will always give dimension. White will always give your page a, a lift. White and black give dimension. So if I'm going to add some more colours over the top of this in detail, white and black will be my, my go-to, okay? Right. If I pull her back, okay, there we go. And I'm going to grab my brush and a little bit of white and just do a little bit of dry brushing with white now. And then I can get my stencil and do a little bit of that and a bit of baby wipe. So some of these bits here, which are a lot, they're a bit dark. I'm just looking for bits that are quite bold. Thanks, Leslie. I've got no idea where it's going, but we're making it work. Just giving her a little glow around her head. So that when we stick her on in a minute. There we go. Okay. So it could do with a bit of a pop uh, with some depth and maybe a bit of stamping. So let's see what stamps I've pulled out here. I have got this one here which says paint your heart out. This I believe is possibly one of the ones that is on special. Don't quote me. Yes, you can quote me. It is on special. It has been re reduced down to only $11. Bargain! All right, I don't know where my big stamping block is, so I'm going to use this little baby one. And I've got black ink.
So rice papers are super versatile, so easy to use. You can add them to all of your projects. The papers work great because you can just, in a minute we're gonna do the sticking on, in, sticking on bit, but the idea is, is that you can create really, really easily because you have a, you'll have a focal point to work with. Um, you have a focal point that you can grab and go, right, well, you can work everything around your focal point is what I'm trying to say. So the colour that I'm using now is Hickory Smoke. It is, this is from the new Black Archival paint set and it is super lovely light grey. And that's what I wanted. I, I want... Didn't get that. Could you try? <sighs> Sorry, my watch is talking to me. Um, I want a really light shadowed bit because I am going to be using my stencil in a moment over the top with the leaves um, before I add on my, or maybe after I add on my, uh, what do you call it? Rice paper. A little bit more depth there. So this is one of the stamps that is on out on special for the show at the low price of 11 bucks. All right, so there's that one and that one. And then the stamp set's all got these awesome little paint splotches as well. So we might use some of these. bit of speckle going on on the edges to start with if you're not too sure the edges are oops always a good place to start and if you're not too sure if you don't have too much if you will how much ink you've got on it do the off stamping where you can stamp two or three times with the same amount of ink okay Radio. That'll do. Just gonna quickly pop those back on the set that they belong to so that I don't get myself in a pickle. Some of the other stamps that we've got from Art by Marlene. This is another one that's on special. So this is the hot air balloon with the rainbow. I did a great set of cards and a kit with that not all that long ago. Um, and this one I'm going to add in as well. Now, this one is not on special. Oh, well, it is actually. It's 15% off. Who am I kidding? But I need my big acrylic block that I've lost. Happy ducks. Yeah. Come hither. Come and be a second set of eyes for me because I've put my uh, acrylic block down in a safe place. The big one, not the little one. Oh, go and grab me another one out of the drawer as plan B. Can anyone see it? <laughs> Can you go? Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right, acrylic block. Straight down with black ink. Oh, there we go. And I'm having having it on the edges. Nice amount of pressure there. I'm not concerned that it's not perfect because at this point, nothing else is perfect. Would have been good if that one was straight oh well now i have to do a border 
because that stamp's not straight. How am I going for time? Oh, nail it. What else have we got here? Slightly different pattern. So she's going, where's she going? Here. And I'm going to be stenciling as well, like I said, with my leafy stencil. So I might pop one of these kind of in the middle-ish. And then it'll be connected with the stencil. Right about here. So rather than have a, a stamp floating around the middle of the page, it's going to be connected to something else. All right, let's put that somewhere where I know where it is. Right, now, let's glue her on. So how do we glue her on? We are going to adhere her with gel medium. This is the important bit because we want to use gel medium because it is an awesome adhesive, especially for collaging. So I am using the gel medium and a wide brush to first of all do the back of my page, or the back of my collage element. Because my image is a hole and I've done some painting on the background what I don't want to do is paint it on to my page and then have too much excess because I don't necessarily want my page to go too shiny so what I do is I'm going to cover as much of the large area as possible Pick it up. It's a bit messy. Um, the other thing is it's not super wet. I can control how much I'm putting on. Go right to the edges. And now I can stick it on without tearing her head off. I want to have to stand up. Oh, she's good. Dunno, that'll work. Okay, so now that I've placed her, I'm going to use my brush. Now, I'm not going to put any more on my brush, I'm just going to start with her neck and just smooth her out. So if I've got any excess bits underneath or I've missed any bits, I can now just get in there and get her on, get her on, get her stuck on there. So you can see how transparent they are. Some of my stenciling is coming through. So the rice paper is amazing because it does gel into your page. Okay, so different, different brands of rice paper do different things and different qualities. This is a, a heavier weight rice paper. It is not tissue paper. Um, Faye, the, the stencil that I use with the crosses on it, etc., is my Mark, Mark Mashup Stencil, Mark Maker Stencil, Mark Mashup Stencil. I named it and I don't even remember what it's called. It's the Natalie May scrapbooking one, darling. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to lightly with my finger, just go over the top and make sure I don't have any air bubbles or any lumps of gel medium underneath. 
oh she looks great and now I'm going to add on my two birds my birdhouse that I cut out and my little pot plant so I'm going to do the same thing with those as well Right, we're going to do a bit of a roll call while you are watching this. Where is everybody from? Who is the furthest away from me here in Adelaide? I want to know. Let's have a look at the comments and see. Are you finished, Jessica? Are you having a I'm little... waiting until you're done so I'm not making all of the noise again. Right, so you can't go back into... Can you go into the kitchen? You can shut the door. Yeah, maybe. What do you I want to look at this first. You can maybe. Bundaberg, Queensland, Gold Coast, Robe. Ooh. Girls are from everywhere. Canberra. Victoria. Canberra. Windy Brisbane. Windy Brisbane. <laughs> oh, wow. You guys are from everywhere. I love that. <laughs> I know. Kirstine, you're like two streets over, babe. You are definitely the closest. Oh, ah, there, there we go. go. Hey there, Donna. Are you the north or the south, Donna? You, where's Nelson? North or south? I feel like you're feel in the like north. Because I think we went there, didn't we? Probably. I miss New Zealand. I miss it too. Susie, 10 minutes away. 10 minutes away. <laughs> hey, Suze. Suze, you need to give Louise and I an update. She was asking about you the other day. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, okay, so I'm just going to pop these on. Polishing it with my finger takes out the air bubbles. So, I reckon we stayed in there and we took the ferry across. No, that was Russell, not Nelson. Oh, yeah, wait, no, okay. We've definitely been there, I reckon. All right, so those are going to sit on the top there, and they're kind of connected. We need to make a song. Oh, sweetie, nobody needs to hear me sing, okay? That's a no. That's a hard no from me. Mind you, I am awesome, so just saying. All right, she's on. My... my Bits are on there. I just want to put some leaves on now. Um, oh, you guys are from everywhere. I love that. Where else have we got? Sorry, I've just got my mouse here while that's drying. Seeing where everybody's from. Victor Harbour. Bacchus Marsh, Victoria. Gympie. Mildura. I miss going to Mildura. I know. I haven't been there. Gold Coast. Canberra. Oh, you're just over the border, Jen. Yep. Melbourne. Oh, you guys are everywhere. I love that. Fabulous. Perth. Oh, Glen Innes. Glen Innes. Glen Innes. That is one of the places I want to go. Where's that? Where's Glen Innes? Is it? Yep. How do you know? Racing. Oh, racing. Because there's a track in, there's a track there that I want to go to. Oh, good oh. But it's a bit far away. All right. So that is the Art by Marlene stencil. Uh, this one is not on special, but it is um, the beautiful doilies. I know that there's a couple left on the shelf, or mandalas, I should say. Um, okay, so what I want to do now is I'm going to stencil on some of my leaves, some of my leafy things here, and I'm going to do that using a navy blue because oh, I want that depth. I don't want black, but I want the depth of a, a navy blue. So um, let's go with Baltic blue. <laughs> oh, Kelly, of course. I forgot, you were going, you going to Falls Creek. And yeah, now you're not. Bugger. That's, that sucks. All right, so I've got some blue here and now I'm just gonna completely coat my sponge. And I'm making sure that my, I start off my page. I, I just love that it's, um, if you connect it to the edge of your page, 
then it looks a little bit more organic rather than perfectly lined up. Dun -dun. And I'm going I'm to outline these as well. So I'm just going to pop a few around the page. I'm going to do this one can go here. Yeah, I do have some friends who are in the snow at the moment. My best friend and his family are in the snow. And I think um, they decided to not do the road trip and, and come home before the borders closed. But I think he's regretting that now because... Um, He's going to have to quarantine when he gets home and when you have your own business it's a little difficult to quarantine um, and so yeah so I think that's kind of gone a bit pear-shaped all right oops so this one here I'm just going to put my tree up to my plant overlapping into the pot just a little because I do want that to be connected and there's going to be some doodling in and around it as well so the stamping underneath the idea of the stamping underneath is all about the layers and creating these gorgeous little layers underneath okay and I designed this stencil so that I could use it like this so that I had these four different sizes that I could move around my page where I needed to, okay? Now I am gonna grab a bit of paper towel and cover her up just a fraction, just because my I'm moving my stencil around so much I don't wanna accidentally get any paint on her. And this one is gonna go into the spine of my journal. So my journal is still reasonably flat at the moment. The Large Dilutions journal is my favourite and quite often when you get to the end of the journal it can get a little bendy. That's quite common. There is no way to stop that happening. It's part of the process. Time to bring out this little baby one. So Kelly, did you get some um, bad weather down down at um, Victor last night, or was it only up in Adelaide? Two little baby ones. Oh, you were sleeping. You got no idea. <laughs> Love that. I was sleeping, kind of. I didn't fall asleep on the lounge. We had such a huge day yesterday. I think I broke Louise. She was planning on coming in this morning, but she rang me uh, this morning and said um, that she wasn't coming in. So... I think Louise was a little broken. She was a little exhausted. So good work guys on, on breaking my sister with all of your wonderful orders. This is a slow process because I'm being quite gentle with my positioning. I don't want to put paint in the wrong spot because I'm working with a dark color. Okay, so that is why this is taking me long. And I'm, I'm dabbing rather than swiping to make sure that it... Look, and then I put paint in the wrong spot. To make sure that I get a nice even coat and it's not ripped and torn and I don't have something that I can't go back from. Leslie, did I meet you in Canberra when I went and taught at Stamp Camp a few years ago? 
and the craft and quilt fair where I was working. I was um, guest artist at the craft and quilt fair and I want to say that that was in 2018 perhaps, maybe 2019. But let's be honest, I can't remember what I did last weekend. So, all right. So you see how that's made a little bit of a difference to the bottom. Now she's connected to something. She's not floating. She's, uh, she's on the, on the, on the page, but she is not, um, yeah, she's, she's kind of a bit more grounded. Okay. So bringing in some of this depth here. And across the bottom. Alrighty. Okay, let's have a quick squeeze. I need to, now that she's almost dry, I'm going to hit it with the heat gun quickly just to dry her off. Um, and then I'm going to outline her with a black Stabilo pencil and do a little doodling on the page and we are done. Done like a dinner. Right, what do you need to be doing, Miss Jess? I'm just admiring how good it looks. All right. So I'm just going to get this out, the palette out of the way, so that I don't put my elbow in it, because that's a thing. Um, yes, I was there with your friend Mel, and he had the photos. Oh, look, I love that. And I do apologise. I do meet a lot of people when I go around Australia and teach, so... Um, what did I say I was going to do? Stay below. Um, and um, yeah, so I do apologise if I don't recall your face. Um, Jessica, would you mind getting me some clean water, please? Sure. Quick, quick. Um, thank you. Um, so what I'm going to do with this, so my Stabilo pencil is a water-soluble pencil and it is super black. So what I'm going to do is do a little bit of doodling with my pencil just around the edges. You can see that my pencil is super sharp and I do that so that it will... Jessica's taking too long, so I just spat on my pencil. How gross is that? But again, that's my art journal. But what's happening is I'm working in a small area. So a bit of a tip when you're using a Stabilo pencil is do not do... Do not do the whole thing with pencil and then go back and activate it because the Stabilo pencil will set okay and it because it's a, a permanent pencil it will set and it won't uh, yes it does match my sleeves Galen. um it will it won't reactivate again okay so you do need to activate it pretty quickly but it's just creating a really thin little shadow around my my girl and it helps blend her in and make it so it doesn't like doesn't look like she's just stuck on the page because you know the whole idea is that you take an image and you incorporate it into your page all right so That's the concept there. I do need to do a fair amount around her hair so I can do that off camera. And I'll do the same thing in here with my, my tree and my plant because they're getting a little bit blendy into the page. So to get to make them stand out is I want to give them a little shadow in underneath. with my Stabilo pencil. So it is the perfect art journaling tool to help incorporate things into your page. <laughs> nice work, Emma. And to be perfectly honest, I haven't even seen your order come through. But in saying that, I've spent um, two days in front of the camera doing live Facebooks. But my lovely, lovely staff in Jessica and Louise have been getting all your orders together 
and I've got no um, no problems if you have hit that lovely three kilo mark but we'll work that out on Monday when we check off all your orders and go from there all right so I was looking pretty good uh, I want to add a white pen now which is yet again something that I didn't grab Where are my white stabilos? White stabilo, white stabilo. Um, ladies, just chat amongst yourselves. I don't want to have to get Jessica to get up again. Sorry, 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 sorry. Coming, 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 coming. Okay. So this is the white Pintor paint pen and it is, hopefully I picked up the one that was full and not empty. And what I want to do is a little outline. I want to outline some of these guys so I can get it into here and give it a little bit of shadow. make my whites a little whiter in a few spots um, and I can do some spots on my trees. So what do you think? I need a I need a title for this girl. So I could crack out my thickers again. So in the last live Facebook earlier today, I used um, some of the American Crafts thickers, which you all know I love using for art journal pages because you've got easy titles ready to go. So I think that they look great. Um, see how my leaves are kind of popping now? And I don't want this to be perfect by any means. So it's quite sketchy. And I tend to do all one side first and then I find it really easy to go back and do the other side. Um, what do we want to say about this? <laughs> Emma, only your third order. Come on, babe. There's a couple of ladies that have you absolutely, have overlapped you, we will say. And I'm not going to put names out there, but that's okay. I'm very grateful for that. I like it when I stop all the cool stuff and you have to have it. Because, you know, I pretty much just buy in stock that I love. And then, you know, the worst thing is, is I, I have to resist the urge to open it. So we got some washi tape in yesterday. I did keep it for myself. It didn't even go in the shelf. <laughs> And the All and Create washi tape is about to be restocked. That's all coming back in again. There is all of the new All and Create stamps will be coming in soon. I'm not too sure when they're coming. I know they've been shipped. So hopefully sooner rather than later. I was hoping they were going to be here this weekend, but they have to come from London. So um, I know there's been massive delays in the UK with postage, so I, I will be, I'm, I'm grateful to get it whenever I can. That's pretty much what it comes down to. Hubby has asked what you have bought. Oh, Tina, oh darling, really? Wayne, does it matter what she's bought, babe? Is she happy? Does she put food on the table? Is everybody in the house smiling and healthy? It's all that matters, babe. Well, that's my theory anyway. Kids are not hungry. Animals are fed. I can live on toasted sandwiches alone. <laughs> hmm. All right. 
So, kind of loving where this is heading. I've got a, a little bit of a, a scribbly paint mark up there. Just going to make my bird's house just a little darker. And I'm going to pick up that paint off of here and put a white sort of wash in there. And the last thing that I think that this page is going to need is a little bit of a white splatter to help it help that white that I just put down here blend in. So how do we do that? Uh, how do we do that? We grab a thinner paintbrush. So I have, and if I'm gonna keep using my Pintor paint pen, which is the plan, I'm gonna make a puddle on here on my palette. And, whoa, okay, quite the puddle. Now, I'm going to cover up my girl because she is fine like that. And then I'm just going to splat her. I don't want to over splat her. It doesn't need to be too much, but it just needs to add a little highlight. And I feel like that my words on this need to be in white. What do you reckon? Okay. Kind of cute. Alrighty, there we go. So, I'm going to uh, just... I'm not going to keep you're going to keep you tied up any longer. I've been on here for an hour, which is ample of your time for today. Um, I'm going to add a title off screen. I'm going to look through some of the the thickers that I've got and find something to go across here that says everything I need to say. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed this art journal page. I'm going to bring it up to screen to show you. So you can see those white splatters, the difference that makes. So adding rice papers to your art journal page is easy, okay? You just have to take a second to think about how you're going to incorporate it into your page rather than just stick it on. So this page started from a, a, an art, uh, where is it? Started from this piece of rice paper, uh, which is rice BM18 on the code, and I cut her out, cut these bits out, and and added it on. So, using gel medium. So you can you can easily do that. We used the stencils from Natalie May Scrapbooking, ones that I have designed. We have used stamps by Art by Marlene. Um, she is grounded in the little bush bushes here that we've created. Um, Lots of really interesting things going on. Instead of doing black splatter, we use the Art by, Mar Art by Marlene stamps in the background here. We're actually on, on special this weekend for you. So there's plenty of, uh, of things there for you to use. Um, so jump online to nataliemay.com.au. Up until the end of today, you have got 15% off of, um, what do we call it, Lindy's products and... 15% off stamps, stencils, papers, and dyes until the end of tomorrow. The no judgment shipping is back again, so you can take advantage of that. And I hope that you all have had an absolute ball and have enjoyed that. Thank you for sticking with me today for the four live Facebooks. I do appreciate your time. You know that you can go back anytime you like and re-watch them and leave me some comments. And um, and then they'll be up on YouTube, hopefully, in a day or so's time. Um, so thanks again, guys. I hope all of you are doing well. Keep smiling. Um, and I hope that you all wash your hands, kiss your kids, do all the things. And give Wayne a kiss for me, Tina. Love you, babe. <laughs>